Just got back from being obliterated in a tea party and over leveling up my Charizard. But you know what? In this episode, we're gonna focus on Sync Pair stories because there are way too many. There are way too many Sync Pair stories to go through during the story mode. So we're just going to dock some of them out one after another. So, let's do this. We will start out with Roxanne. Because, what else am I going to do? Day with Roxanne, go. Sorry if the volume was too low last time. Brent Brush has been called to a cave by Roxanne. Roxanne said she had something to discuss with Brent Brush. I'm sorry. My sincerest apologies for summoning you here so suddenly. The truth is, Brent Bush, I would like to borrow some of your wisdom, if I may. Sure, ask Thank me anything. You so much. I can't promise I'll be able to answer, but ask me. Thank you so much. I had a feeling you would say that. <laughs> As for why I've asked you here, it's about the trainer school in Rustboro City. I've been given the opportunity to instruct some more junior trainers. I'm having trouble thinking of what sort of problems I could give them that would make an enjoyable educational experience. I think you're doing a hands-on lesson. I thought that escaping a cave such as this one would be a good start, but I haven't thought of what I should do next. I've asked Nils Pass for advice, but she just stays quiet and faces north. Uh, maybe she's... Could be, but facing north is also typical nose pass behavior. <laughs> Her magnetic nose is always facing north, and she can also control magnetism. Magnetism, blah, whatever. If you lose your way, as long as your nose pass is with you, you'll know roughly which direction you're headed. Wonderful. When you're on a journey, her behavior can be quite useful. Ah, uh, you could use that in a lesson. If the lesson were on escaping from a cave... Yes, that's it! Nosepass's habit is facing north and her capacity to control magnetism... So or whatever it's called... Both are perfect for a lesson on how to escape from a cave. Uh... I think her controlling magnetism is good. Magnetism, not magnetism. I don't know what I was saying. If the students use her power to control magnetism, <laughs> I could design a maze that makes them use nose pass to escape from a cave tinkered with magnetism. Thank you so much. Brent Brushworks. With such an exciting lesson, I'm sure the students will enjoy that. I knew consoling you was the right answer. I'm glad we could solve the problem. <laughs> Thank you too, nose pass. No. Thanks to you, I was able to find the correct answer to my problem. <laughs> I was only thinking about what sort of lesson to give some junior trainers. Now I realize I've learned quite a bit myself. Give it my best shot. There's still so much for me to learn from you and those past, Brent Brush. <laughs> Complete! One out of a dozen or more. Let's keep going. Not gonna worry about evolutions right now. We're just worrying about spending days with these characters so we could get to know them more, and so I don't have to worry about it later. Brent Bus was working, walking along the coast when he realized he could hear loud noise mixed in with the sound of the waves. Oh. What's wrong, Makuita? You've never been able to catch me at this rate. Well, you'll never be able to catch me at this rate. You're gonna have to show me more if you want to catch me. Let me see your guts. Brawly and Makuita had come up on land and were glaring at each other. Congrats! <laughs> it looks like I've finally lit a fire under you. That's it. I know you've got more guts than that. Uh, are you teasing? Huh? Brent Brush? I didn't expect to see you here. Did you think we were fighting? 
If you did, you're wrong! We were training to improve our balance with surfing! Makuata wanted me to help improve his surfing skills. I was just trying to get him fired up. Oh, I see. Neat. Surfing is more than just our hobby. It's serious training for us. It's been that way ever since I taught Makuata how to surf. At first, he couldn't even stand on the board. But every time he failed, Makuata's toughness wouldn't let him quit. He never gave up, so we improved quickly. The unwavering fighting spirit that never gives up no matter what is what made Makuata. No, not just Makuata, it made both of us grow. You guys have worked hard, haven't you? Yep, no matter how hard things got, we never threw in the towel. When Makuata is working as hard as he does, it gives me strength too. Makuta's strength is that no matter how hard you hit him, he always gets back up. And you too. Huh? Makuta? What are you doing? <laughs> I guess he was still mad from earlier. Even still, you've gotten stronger, haven't you, Makuta? You're like a totally different Pokemon from when we first met. We have to keep our momentum if we want to get stronger than Brimbrush. Me? I think you're the opponent everyone should be afraid of. You have a fine spirit just like Makuta's. You never break no matter what happens. Team Break broke me! But enough about that. You're a tough opponent that we won't be able to defeat easily. But that's what makes me excited. Let me tell you why. The bigger the wave that's coming at you, the more of a surfer wants to ride it. Second one. I'm just getting gems, but I mean, they will be helpful. At least just for getting more sink pairs. Ah, Phoebe. This one should be interesting for sure. A day with Phoebe. Brent Brush entered the forest, feeling as if something was drawing him in. Proceeding farther, he found Phoebe alone in the clearing, looking around. <laughs> oh, I found you! Me? Uh, are you sure I'm the one look you're looking for? Wait, can't you see her? She's right next to you! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> We're playing hide and seek! Like dust clops? Oh wait, can you not say dust clops? Uh, hey. uh, well, let's find out. Try to figure out where dust clops is. She's by me. Wow, you, you got it right. Come on out, dust clops. Say hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Thanks for trying to freak me out. Well, now that Brent Brush is here, let's put the game on hold. Oh, darn. Dust Clots was on a roll, so I guess I lose this time. Oh, but w we should count how many she actually found. I still might have a chance. What? What's wrong? You look confused. Wait a minute, did you not? <laughs> <laughs> I get it now. You thought I was playing hide and seek with Dust Clops. You're not? What? No, we're both always it. We do the seeking. The ones hiding are the spirits wandering around the forest. Ooh. Ooh. What? Dust clops up towards wandering. Ah. Okay, I didn't need to know that. Yeah. I don't know what happens to them when she absorbs them, though. Let's see, dust cups and one, two, three. Oh, shucks, I lost. Well, you're not a ghost type, so. I mean, you train ghost type Pokemon, but you're not a ghost. You can't absorb spirits, I hope. Yeah, you you keep doing what you're doing, dust clops. Not creepy at all. I guess you really can't see them, can you, Bimp Brush? You're depending on your eyes too much. Try to see with your heart. Feel them there. Yep, yep. If you do that, you'll be able to see things that you weren't able to before. 
For example, I can't see the sink strength that Dust Clops and I share. <laughs> but if I close my eyes like this, I can feel it. Just don't think about it too hard. Even if it's something you can't logically understand, you can have an emotional connection with your Pokemon. Now you're speaking my language. I'm sure you can feel that sync strength with your Pokemon too. Get in there. If you can do that, maybe you'll be able to see the spirits also. I'm not a ghost type trainer. I don't do that type of stuff. But who knows? I've got special powers myself that are outside <laughs> the cannon. I already spent a day with Barry. Yep, 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 yep. So I won't worry about that. So next is Maylene. Day with Maylene. Go. Brimbrush heard that Maylene was training up in the mountains, so he decided to go and check it out himself. Upon arriving, he found Maylene and her meditite in focus meditation. Concentration! Sorry, I didn't say anything. Ah, I suppose me getting flustered means I'm not concentrating enough in the first place. <laughs> Sorry, let's start again. Hi, Brimbrush. Sorry if that came across as rude. I should be embarrassed seeing as how you hiked all the way up here to see me. I need more training. <laughs> I don't really have anything I can serve you up here, unfortunately, but feel free to make yourself at home. Okay. Oh wait! This might be a good opportunity for us to train together. What do you think, Brent Brush? I was planning on trying out the training regimen that Mad Tight always follows, starting today. She has one meal per day, one berry. She sleeps for one hour tour and spends about 15 hours of meditation. No, 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 no. I can't afford to do anything like that. It sounds pretty tough, but I think it will be a great experience for us in the end. No, I'm not doing it. I have to go play Pokemon Go at some point. That means no meditation. Um, hungry or sleepy? Let's go sleepy. It's fine. I've got a lot of self-discipline. If I hyper-focus on my training, maybe I won't think about my lack of sleep. Yeah, I've tried to do that. It didn't work. Yeah. So yes, it will, I'll be totally fine, I think. Don't overextend yourself. Oh, sorry, Matai. You're getting impatient to start your training, aren't you? Huh? No? Hmm? Well, what's the matter? Uh, she's concerned or wants to warn you? Both are the right answer. I'm gonna say warning. Really? Is that true, Mattite? She must be worried about me following her training regimen. Exactly. You know, maybe I was getting a little ahead of myself. I got a little absorbed in the idea of going stronger with my Mattite. You can, just don't do it that way. You gotta limit yourself. You gotta know your own strengths. Because if you try to surpass them, sometimes that does more harm than good. What do you think I should do now? Do some training that's meant for trainers, not the Pokemon. Yeah, maybe you're right. I shouldn't overdo it. I should just start with why I know, then slowly work my way up to more challenging training. The more you know! After all, people and Pokemon are different, so of course they're going to struggle with different things. Thank you so Thank much, much Brenton Brushworks. I think I learned an important lesson okay. today. I'm going to start my new training regimen with something more reasonable, like climbing up cliffs and things. <laughs> Go for it. Isn't that something people can y can't usually do? It's fine. If I build up my leg muscles, I'll be able to keep going at the battles without getting tired. As long as you don't get hurt. Want to go climbing with me? No, no. Like I said, I'm playing Go. I got my own way of training myself, and that's putting my head in the phone while walking around for miles. 
Sounds like the best training for me. Ah, alright, so not Rosa. Roxy! I hope she mentions Team Yell. I really do. I don't think she will, but I just I just get this total Team Yell vibe from her now. As Brent Bush was walking the beach, he heard the sound of a bass guitar and someone singing loudly in the distance. Yeah! Ooh. <laughs> Little jingle there. Curious, he headed towards the music and eventually discovered the culprit, Roxy and her Whirlipede. Wait till she's a scallopede. <laughs> oh, hey there, Brent Bush. Did we catch your attention with our little jam session? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty sick, actually. If you ever want to get into music, we should totally form a band. I mean, we're already on the same team, right? Yeah, I play a mean violin. Oh, wait a minute. Come on, sing a little something for me. Team Yell! Team Yell! Team Yell! <laughs> I love that enthusiasm. So what kind of song are you going to sing for me? <laughs> metal! I knew you had rock music in your soul. I love heavy metal, too. Well, come on. After a moment, Brent Bush cleared his throat and started to sing! Yeah! Too much? <laughs> well, I think you might have made a fan out of Whirlipede. <laughs> yeah! You know, listening to you sing kind of put my heart at ease, Brent Bush. Well, it wasn't a ballad, but... That kind, fun personality of yours really came through in your singing. But I feel like being in a band might not be your thing. You're actually right about that. But I'm still a good singer. You can say what you want, Galaxy West. I'm still a good singer. It's kind of disappointing, though. It. Wait, no. Don't be sad. Come on. Ag, I'm saying it all wrong. Just listen to me for a second. I'm making more of a fool of myself. At once, Roxy launched into a heavy bass riff. Brent Bruss felt the deep sound echo in his chest, making his part beat faster. Got a sec? I think you're thinking about it too much, Brent Bruss. I mean, when I jam, I jam. Sometimes I rock out and headbang so hard I forget my own name. Okay, okay, well, no, no, I'm not doing that either. When I heard you sing, it kind of made me realize something. <laughs> Brent Bush, I think Pokemon battling is your jam. Uh, I, I kind of like spending time with Pokemon cuddling and hugging. <laughs> A little more than battling. It's where you're most at your element. So I guess it might sound a little selfish of me to say this, but I'd much rather see you stand up on stage and bow it out next to your Pokemon. Yeah, let's be flashy. Will ya root for me then? Do! Do oh, excuse me. Duh! It'll, I'll be cheering for you from the front row. That's what friends are for. You know, I got loads of fans that love and support my music. Damn ya! But when it comes to trainers, I'm your biggest fan. Heck yeah. Why am I? <laughs> okay, I, I think I got too much of a kick out of that one. Okay, what's next, Grant? Tone it down just a little bit. Heart's being a little too fast. Day with Grant, go. How much time have I wasted? Wow. Brent Brush heard Grant and his um, Amora were head up to the mountains, so he decided to head that way as well. Upon arriving, he spotted the pair of them gazing up at some tall cliffs. <laughs> well now, look who we have here. What brings you here to the mountains today, Brent Brush? Ah, uh, I guess I'm curious what you're doing. Although I have an idea. Oh, did you follow me up here? 
Well, sorry to disappoint you, but we just came to scope out the area today in preparation for the real climb. I love your Pokemon, so cute. All right. We're packing so that one day Amora and I can conquer this mound together. Amara, I don't know how to pronounce it. I believe in you. Thank you so much. I'd love to ask you to join us on the climb, but it can actually be quite dangerous. I am fine down here, good sir. Right. It's important to be vigilant. Or vigilant, sorry. No matter how many safety precautions you've taken. Yes. I came to compete in the PML in order to reach greater heights as a trainer. But that's not the only reason I decided to come here to Pasio. This is an artificial island. That means someone had to create all this beautiful, majestic nature. Wonderful. I knew that climbing the mountains here would be unlike anything I've ever done before. <laughs> ah, I'm getting excited just thinking about it. I can't wait to start climbing. Uh, something at the very top? No, nothing special. Just a wide open view of the landscape below. And why climb? Uh, I don't even want to answer any of those. Why climb? Well, when I see a wall in front of me, I've just got to climb it. Pokemon battling and rock climbing are really different, but they have a lot in common too. They can both feel like a wall in front of you. You just have to climb over that wall and keep aiming higher and higher. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? I feel like the whole process is really important. That's awesome! Thank you so much. When it comes to Pokemon battling, you and I are a lot alike. <laughs> yes. The look of enjoyment on our faces is as plain as day, even when we're up against a tough opponent. Yes. Wonderful! Oh? Did you hear Amora make that sound just now? Maybe we'll get to see it tonight. Legends say that the cry of Amora is a sign that Aurora will appear in the sky. Oh, I would love that. I would love to see an Aurora Boreas in my life. I've never actually seen one myself, though. Wouldn't it be amazing if Amora and I climbed to the top of this treacherous mound to witness that beautiful war together? I mean, it probably needs to be nighttime first, so choose your time wisely. Amazing. Knowing there may be a special reward like that, the top makes me want to go for it even more. Just don't, don't set yourself up for disappointment. I've done that one too. What do you think, Amora? She's so cute, I love her. I don't know if he understands me or not. I think where we decide to go up will depend on how Amora feels. Um, Anyways, Brentbrush, oh, rock climbing is its own challenge to myself. Or is my own challenge. But Pokemon battling can be something we can strive to conquer together. Overcoming a tough battle is like climbing a giant wall, don't I know it. There's beauty on the other side that you won't find anywhere else. Team Break made that wall way too big, though. <laughs> That's how I like to look at it anyways. It takes a lot of dedication. And a lot of grinding. And even more items than that to reach the top of that peak. I am still very salty about that. Um, okay, let's end off with someone brand new. Where are you? Not you, Jesse. We already did that. Uh, we got Olivia. I don't know where... <laughs> I forgot his name. H how did I forget his name? I want to say Price, but I don't think it's Price. Whatever, let's do Olivia's story. A day with Olivia, go. Did I do something to make you angry, Lycanroc? If I gave you a bad command, I'm sorry. Brent Brush arrived in the village and looked for the source of the voice. He noticed the Lycanroc turned its back to Olivia as Olivia apologized to it. <laughs> oh, Brent Brush, the hey there. Well, you saw a bit of an embarrassing scene, didn't you? It looks like you're in a bit of a jam. 
We finished battling a trainer, and now Lichenbach doesn't want to look at me. I don't have a clue. Did I do something bad? Uh, sounds rough. It is. Lichenbach is my best partner. I always make sure he's in tip-top shape, so he can bow whenever, and I make sure to give careful instructions during battle. So it might have something to do with the instructions? <laughs> I go to sleep holding him tight every night, just like I would with a stuffle plushie. Yeah, that sounds about right. Mm. I thought I treated him well, so I don't know what could have brought this on. Uh, the plushie? Huh? That's not weird, is it? Mm. I like cute things just like everybody else. Me too. Me too. But to be honest, I think he's just as cute when he's ignoring me like this, too. I don't know if that's helping things. Of course, I wouldn't like it if he continued to ignore me. Um... Ah, he might want some time to himself. Huh? But we've always been together, and we will be from now on, too. Right, like a muck? No, okay. maybe you're right, Brent Brush. Maybe he needs his alone time because we've spent so much time together. Maybe that's what lichenmark has been thinking. Especially since we've been a pa sync pair here on Pasio. Lichenmark usually attacks strong opponents, throwing caution to the wind. Isn't that adorable? All right. But because he's like that, maybe he hasn't liked the cautious instructions I've been giving. It's true that caring for each other is important in any trusting relationship, but maybe I should have trusted him more, even if doing so can be a bit reckless. <laughs> that, in and of itself, might be another form of trust after all. <laughs> it looks like you're in a bad mood. Thanks. Thanks, Sprint Brush. You taught me that there is more than one way for us to trust one another. Trust between friends, partners, rivals, family. People and Pokemon are really interesting, aren't they? This is why I can't get enough of this. Like and Muck, let's use our time in Pasio to build the perfect relationship to make us stronger. You're just spectacular. I trust you in my life. You're my precious partner after all. Like and Muck. Nice. Uh, how much time? Alright, well, I'm gonna have to stop off here, but I'm gonna upload another episode pretty shortly after this one. So until then, and until my next episodes, this has been We The Play. I got nothing left to say, so I hope you enjoy your day. Take care out there, and I'll catch you later.